it really it, it, it messes with your mind because it doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. So many kids have lost their lives just for going to school. Um, and we know how we quickly changed, you know, the way we travel because of 9-11. Right? We can't even go on airplanes with lotion because safety and that's good that's to get from one place to another but for a kid in america to get from one place to another and get equipped with the skill sets they're left in harm's way that confuses me i don't get it and so i'm going to continue to do all that i can whether it's make documentaries songs like big love i made a song with a, an amazing young girl her name is Baby Kaylee. She was six years old at the time about Sandy Hook. And nothing happened. So it, 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 it makes me feel like, <clears throat> can we not move the needle? Can we not move this obstacle? But I'm not going to give up. You know, so, and, and the kids from Parkland really inspired me because after Sandy Hook, I didn't, I lost hope, yeah. but they, 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 they put energy in me to, to, um, to support their cause and remember what it was probably like for me when I went to school. At 13 years old, the power of youth, what do you think that they can achieve? So you know like when they teach history and they teach about all I know a lot of poor white folks in oh, America yeah. mm. that they don't have we have to be really sensitive by saying if you're white then you're right there's a lot of folks in America that are struggling that are white too mm. and we need a we need just a couple struggling people or struggling people whether you're black white or brown yeah um, but to, to being black in America is you have this added pressure of weaponized everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they weaponize everything against us. The police is weaponized against us in our, in our neighborhoods. That's the only, that's the biggest differentiation between poor blacks and poor whites, mm -hmm. is that the police are weaponized against us in our own communities and the folks that are policing in our communities do not come from our communities and understand the conditions of our communities and our communities are a police state. Exactly. It's like a war zone. with you to where you grew up. What was it, do you think, that made you different and want to take a different path? And I love technology because I went to a science magnet school that we learned technology early on. I started realizing that the investment that companies are putting to make computers smarter outweigh the investment to make people smarter. And the folks that are going to get hit by that the hardest are kids in the inner cities. You think it's tough right now. Shit, 20 years from now, it's even crazier. You think we got racial issues now. Machinism is right around the corner. We're a machine who have more rights than people. That's something that we need to like wake up real fast. And so I go back to my neighborhood to teach our kids, you know, computer science, robotics, they need to know that I can make that. Because if they're not, if they're not given the skill sets to make what is going to be more intelligent than any of us in the building, then they're gonna have this inferiority, inferiority pro, uh, um, complex. Anybody living and growing up in any you know, suburb, I mean a uh, ghetto, um, underdeveloped community, slum, you're going to see that intelligent machine and you're going to be inferior. Mm. But if you have the perspective, I could make that, I know what it takes to make that machine, mm. then you, you're, the, you're the king of that machine. It's man versus machine is, is this next leap that we're on. So, and who is making sure that we are upskilling um, our, our youth, especially kids in inner cities? 
You know, there's going to be so many jobs rendered obsolete this decade. Hi, my name is Diana. I'm from the Netherlands, and I was wondering uh, for gun issues specifically, also, of course. So whenever there's something happening in like a developing country and there's like a dictator and the citizens are in harm's way, the world gets together and say, we need to help them. They're not solving their problem. Look at these kids. They're dying. Well, guess what? That's happening in our country. And it's taken a long time for the Calvary to come and help these kids out. They're not being educated properly as far as investment. And they're in harm's way. They're dying at school. Not just once or twice. Last year, there were hundreds of school shootings. So yeah, the world could help us out. Um, but that's controversial. Uh, Americans would be like, what are you talking about? Well, I am the world. We're American. We're the world's police. Well, well then help out these kids in school then, is what I say. <laughs>